One thing that always stood out for me, though, was 1987. You won that Ballon d'Or. You were the best footballer in the world. There was certainly no doubt about it. And you made a rather special dedication to somebody who's very important in your life. Yeah, you know, in the, in those days, in the 80s, uh, I think that uh, Holland had a lot of guilt of what they'd done in the past in South Africa. So uh, they supported a lot of the ANC in those moments. Uh, we had days about the ANC. And I was also uh, a very fan of reggae music. And reggae music was all about fighting, you know, the course, fighting for the good course. When I came to Italy, and when I won the, the Ballon d'Or, and I dedicated it to Nelson Mandela, all the Italians were, Nelson Mandela, who is that? <laughs> well, uh, who, who is this guy? <laughs> and everything. So it was for them the first time that somebody uh, uh, in football was talking about, it was not politics for me. It was just a social problem. And it went, went crazy. Uh, later on, uh, um, I met uh, Nelson Mandela as well, and he told me, and it gave me goosebumps because he said, we in prison heard that you dedicated this prize to us, and it was a massive cheer in, the, in, 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 in prison, but they were afraid that uh, the UEFA would take away the prize of me because of that. So, so they were so much in that, in that anti-apartheid system that they thought they would take it away. That opened the doors for us to be a little bit more uh, global in the world, especially in Europe. Tonight.